Correctly, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting right into this Maui Chance versus Sydney Dingo's Platinum match here live on the Kai Rec League. It's Top Life Goal with Zenny. Zenny, are you ready for this match? Yeah, man, my first cast of MW2, and I'm excited to get into it. We had some scheduling conflicts, but nevertheless, we have brought you here a wonderful game. Cindy Dingoes versus Maui Chums, Platinum Pre-Made Division. And already off the rip, Maui getting the first opening pick outages onto James. Yeah, that was a great first pick. Now, Gotham follows it up with another kill on the Marcy. So, now it's 2v4 for the Sydney Dingoes. Moosey does have the bomb, so he did in a great spot. But I just, I think, made no worries that you got one arrow that's pointed at him. There goes Gotham taking out Moosey. Bomb is down. E kill. Last man alive for his team. Can he try to get this clutch? I think Crash sees him. He's going for the snipe, but nope, he gets taken down. Yeah, good effort there out of E-Kill at the end, but Maui Chums took map control early, got a couple early picks, and from there just collapsed on to the Cindy Dingoes. Not really much they could do there, but honestly, great first round. Obviously, if you are well-versed in the Call of Duty, uh, you can see that we're in map 2, SND, but that means we missed map number 1. Maui won that 250-126. to 126. And so they will be up 1-0 as we head into this map 2, round 2. And it looks as though Maui Chums are now on the offense. Yeah, let's see how they respond on this offense. They just got a great defense. And so now they're on this offense side. Looking like they're going, looking like they're sending one player, maybe two players towards this B side. Or maybe just trying to get this little uh, mid control arches. But there's James. James says, is watching it from the, it's on the stairs. Can he get the first blood? No, he cannot. Got there. Just takes him off that heady. And now it's a, a 4v3 in the favor of Maui Chumps. Bob's is like it's rotating back to this A side. Yeah, and this is actually a good rotation on the thought of Maui Chums, but little they knew, all of the Cindy Dingo's players are over here, but it doesn't matter, they're just lined up, Outta just finds a 2, and Marcy left all alone, bottom bedroom, and a 1v4, surely they saw him cross, yep, here come the nades, and he gets naded out, and that was just a beautiful, beautiful round out of Maui Chums capitalizing on the first pick. Yeah, man, Maui Chums, they're just running wild right now in this search. Look at all those nays just meet Marcy in that bottom bedroom and little hallway and just sent him packing. But Maui Chums up 2-0 in this search and destroy. And we didn't get to see that first match, but, man, they looking like they're just carrying that momentum over, and, you know, starting off with an early 2-0 lead in the search. Yeah, the biggest thing there, I think, is honestly James. He's holding down middle. I think he would have been better off using an AR in that position. Obviously, we have GA the M4. So now we are using what is essentially the SCAR. I'm going to call it the SCAR. I know it's like with the TAC-56, but to me, it'll always and forever be the SCAR. But it looks like Cindy Dingoes now on the offense once again are looking to make a B push this time. And, well, they're going to have to get through Gothard again to the site. Man, let's see if they can try to do this. Moosey is the first one up, but he just gets turned around because that's done. Got him Enzo. Now he's here for the, you know, for the team kill. So this is a big, this is going to be a bad way. B is slow. Everything, everything's pushing slow. Enzo does get the first kill to Marcy. He's looking for a second. Can he find a second? No, the trade is there by James on to God. They're still 3v3. Bomb is getting close to this B side. They're just taking their time, trying to get the pick that they need. The trophy is helping them out. But here comes the flank by Crash. Crash with the nice two piece to make this a 1v3. E kill does pick up one. Can he pick up the second one? No, he cannot. And Crash went big right there, uh, Zenny. Yeah, crash three on the round. A great pinch there. Honestly, I think that the hesitancy on the part of the Cindy Dingoes is part from the blame for that round. Obviously, they got everyone over stacked towards kitchen. Once they got the first pick, they should have just flown in for the map control. Or once they realized that everybody had already rotated over, they can rotate back on out and try to go to the other site. But honestly, when you're sitting there, you have three players, you know, just waiting for you to come in and, ca and crash on the flank. It's just a recipe for disaster. And so Maui chums up 3-0. Yeah, man, and hey, let's see if they can try to make it four as they're on this offensive side. Looking like they're going to try to make this play to the B side. Looks like I'll just probably go through mid, try to see if they can find anybody through mid. James is here with on couches trying to get anything with his uh, with his vast nest, but he just throws an A back. So Moosey does get the first blood on to Crash. That's big for the Sydney Dingles. Got their trades, got, got their gets the trade, but not on to them. There's Enzo with another one on to James, and just as quickly as it was favored for Sydney Dingles, now they're down one. Oh, Gother gets a nice snap there onto Moosey to finish off the round. Maui Chums 
team rolling through this SMD. And really, it just comes down to the map control that they're getting. You can see early in these rounds, and that's a great snap by Gother. Early in these rounds, they're just gaining the map control so fast, moving forward with such speed. And uh, even when they are moving forward, they're always holding the flank, not allowing any uh, anyone to sneak through the back lines and deal damage that way. So great control of the map by Maui Chums, and that's why they're up 4-0. Yeah, man, they're just two rounds away from ending this search and destroy. Let's see if City Dingoes could try to pick up their search and destroy here in these later rounds and see if they can, you know, try to make a play. But they are going towards this mid leg. The bomb's going towards mid, maybe making his way towards this B site. Enzo does see players, and he gets the first blood on to E kill. This bomb is making his way to this B site, so I think it's just there. He's probably going to put it down. Uh, Probably now. Yeah, he's putting the bomb down now. And it's a 3v3 v right now. Bomb going down on B, Zinni. Yeah, post plan. 40 seconds now on the clock. 3v3. Sydney Dingo is going to have to defend from the retake of Maui Chums. And this is for a 5-0 lead for Maui and pretty insurmountable. Enzo finding the first pick on the player inside a fridge. 2v3 now. Sydney Dingo is holding on. Oh, there goes James right there, getting the kill on the crash. The trades go back and forth, but Moosey ends up with the last kill, 1v1. Moosey versus out of just, they both know we, where each other is. Moosey did, uh, wasn't going to go for the fuse, but he ran away. Now he's got to run away, play his life, but he didn't play his life long enough. And there's might not be oh. barely enough time. And, yeah. Man, out of just, now he was playing a good corner, but I guess this corner wasn't good enough, Zinni. Yeah, honestly, I think that's a little bit of a misplay there out of Moosey. You know, he he shoulders it, which is a good play. He's checking the bomb, throwing the stun out uh, just to, you know, make sure that Alge is there. And Alge obviously has to get off bomb. He knows that there's enough time. But when he when he goes fridge, honestly, you just got to, like, back out, go towards Cat, maybe jump down mid, come from the side door. You know, do something, take a route, because, you know, only 15 seconds left. You just waste seven of those seconds, you check bomb. It's going to be basically a guaranteed win for you. Moosey, just a little bit in the situation, misplays and so Maui chumps up 5-0 and almost insurmountable lead. Yeah, just this match point right here for Maui. Like they're going for this A plant. Maybe, maybe A. No, they're going back to this mid, trying to get that mid control, which is always good. But now they look like they're getting this pressure towards A. Moose is going to be the first line of defense for the Sydney Dingoes. They they know he's up here because they, they're throwing flashes and A's, but the trophy is blocking all of it. So now they got to try to back Moosey up. Back, Moosey does back up. Marcy gets the first kill on the crash. That's a big, big open in first blood. Let's see if Sydney Dingoes could keep this momentum. And Marcy finds the second on to Gother now. Bomb down on A, not planted, just down. Enzo getting fined from the side, but now it just comes to save him. Guardian Angel with the wings all the way out. And now outages and Enzo have a chance to work this around, finish off the 2v4, but it looks like Cindy content with just giving them up but outages with a nice bit of ammo into moosey what a great shot and that's going to force him to back down still though a control over the way of cindy and here marcy member of house slytherin snaking this little side moosey peppering enzo the stuns are coming in and clock is running down almost 20 seconds left and that is a substantially low amount of time yeah, man, they got to try to get this bomb. They try to got to get the bomb planted, but I think it's just too much coverage on the bomb. Enzo did pick it up. He's going for the plant now. Oh, he got taken down. I think that may be the round. That is the round. And Sydney Dingles finally get a round. It was not going to go out 6-0. They cannot go out like that. They finally put a round on the board. And look at Moosey with the last kill. Yeah, and that's a round desperately needed for Sydney Dingoes. Down 5-0. It's always good to win at least one. You know, you're breaking up the momentum of the Maui Chums a little bit. And hey, there's still a, always a chance of, uh, you know, the full sale. We've seen it happen before. We'll see it happen sometime in the future. But will we see it happen now? I guess we'll only time will tell round by round. Yeah, this is one round out of time right now for Sydney Dingoes. Is you know if they were trying to get into this full cell. They got this bomb. They're going towards this mid. It looks like they're trying to get this big control like always. It's gonna be battles for Enzo if 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 Enzo could spot anybody, but I think they spotted Enzo shooting through the walls. Back in Enzo up, so that may be a great play for Sydney Dingoes because they know where one player is. They backed him up. The, these players from uh Maui Champs are still pretty spaced out. So, you know, if they get if one player get picked out too, it could be full control for Sydney. 
And it looks like they're breaking in. Gother was in a weird spot. Doesn't get checked. And so that's one. He finds a second. Oh! Third! And Crash picked up the other one. Gother holding down the site by himself with a nasty three piece to finish off map number two. Maui chums up 2 0, finishing the SMT 6 1. Yeah. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, right into this control on a CeeLo. Looks like Maui Chumps are on the offensive side. Sydney so Dingus will have to put off a good defense. You see Gother already making his way to this B side. I think his first battle is going to be against player seven. That is going to be E kill. Let's see who's going to win this first battle. Or he may not see him. Yeah, he didn't even see him. Oh, he got killed by another player. That was James. But there's two back to back kills followed by Outages and Enzo. So it's still 28 to 28. Oh, he almost he almost got it, Marcy. But Marcy took him out. So it's not. 28 28 lives are tied no team oh you got one player that's crashed at this a site so now we got city dingo trying to rotate over to the a site yeah it's city dingo's a little too much attention on the b site causing maui chumps to spawn pretty close to the a side but kills go back and forth for a moment one player that's gonna be crashed still left on the point looking for the kills but gets swept out and so maui chumps are gonna have to reset no ticks gotten or gained and now map control going the way of the Sydney Dingoes, but now it just shuts that down fast. James on a quick reply, and Moosey on a second, but Enzo replying back, going for this A zone once again. Crash coming up, gets taken down by Moosey, and it's back to square one for Maui Chums. Yeah, man, they're having a tough time trying to get to these objectives because, you know, City Dingoes have gotten themselves up into these nice positions, pushed up on the map, forcing these Maui Chums to spawn only on one side of the map, that deep back side of A responding way in the back kills are going back and forth 18 to 21 and lives are in favor of sydney but enzo is on this a site with gother now they got three players where the gems are stacking this point and this, this this time should go pretty quick and now they got to start focusing their attention on this b site yeah and great play of enzo there snuck through the spawns and you know hopped on the point dragged them all away from killing his teammates and is currently on a three spree but <laughs> again marcy e kill from the Cindy Dingo, shutting down a couple of those players, showing how strong the defensive side is on this map. Crash off spawn, though, takes some long-range shots, peppered him, but no kills. And it's back to a slow but spread out push for Maui Chums. Trade and trade again from the side, and there we go. Enzo gets taken down, no streaks to be gamed, a clean wipe from Cindy Dingoes, and 12 to 18 are the lives. Yeah, man, this is a great hold by the Sydney Dingoes on this defensive side. But you can see that the, if you look at the mini map, the Mary Chumps, they're all spawning close. So you got to try to get uh, that Sydney Dingo player pushed up in that area to spawn those uh, Mary Chumps players back on that far, that far A side like they were spawning again. You see the players from Maui Chums going through the, the middle of the map, trying to push through mid, trying to get to this B side. Because B is a hard side to control if you're trying to go through that uh, soccer field side. Yeah, that was just a nice throw out there, but quickly traded out. James with two. That's a great couple of picks there. And Gother, well, having a slow start. Can he pick it up now? But James finds the third. Is he going to find the fourth? Oh, but he killed the Guardian. The Angel comes and saves him last second and off respawn. Maui Chums with five lives. This is looking very, very desperate if they want to manage to get any of the ticks on the B point. Yeah, it looks like Sydney Dingoes got this SC low control uh, under wrap, but here comes Gother, big play Gother. They got two players on this site. They got they got to try to get their whole team on. There's only three players left, and they're they're close. They got two players now close to this uh, site. One more player crashes on his way, trying to make it. They're trying to stack this site. 4.2 seconds left on oh. the game clock. 3v10. Oh. And Maui Chums do it. They're only a half a tick away. Here comes Moosey with the play. He's got to try to stop it. He did not get to stop it. Maui Chums with three lives left. Get the win. Yeah, and honestly, that's just a that's just a case of you know just getting over eager to challenge the hill. You know, you just got when you get in that kind of spot. You know, you only have one of them on. You don't. The other two are still off respawn. Just wait a second. Wait for your teammates to get back. Challenge the hill together, because especially when you have like something like 15 lives left. You know, you really you can you can afford to wait. You know, give them a take. It's better than giving them a full round. But Maui chums. Pull that win just straight out of the abyss from almost a, a most definite loss.
Yeah, man, I thought it was over. I, I, I called them. I called. I called it over, and then they end up winning. But here they go on this defensive side. You know, starting off with the one to one. Trey's going back and forth, but Enzo does get that kill on the James to give Maui the life lead, and, and he is playing these little steps out of just getting another kill on to E kill. There goes got there. There goes the Maui wave now. Just getting all the kills they need. James is the last one over on this B side, but he finally gets taken down, and Maui chumps the first wave of of of, of, of offense. That I went to that B site, they defended it well, and now Sydney Dingles has put their attention to this A site. Yeah, look at how far Adages has been pushed up on the map this whole time. He's allowing his teammates Ooh. to just control that zone. He picks up two picks, and now E-Kill off spawn, immediately rushing towards the B zone. But look at the map control out of Maui. They have holding the cross. Enzo finds one. E-Kill manages to find Crash, though, so he will be stopping the timer on this B zone. And look at Maui split up, controlling both halves of the map. They're collapsing onto the Sydney Dingoes. Fine three, fine four. They're going to be up back off spawn. No tick gained and well 26 to 15 in lives is a tough 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 situation for them yeah man that that round that that opening round that got maui all the hype their gunnies now is fully warm and now they're 26 13 up in these lives pushing these sydney dingoes to try to force try to go to this a site got one player that's going that top radio tower he's going to try to watch it from the very top which is the great spot but outages is just in this door area anybody get in front of outages is gonna is gonna is gonna see him but they finally threw the flash at him to back him up a little bit they've got one player on but outages is just too big but he finally gets taken down 10 seconds to go into this round got one player at number seven he's close to that b site he did jump on the b site currently stop the clock at 5.1 and let's see if city dingoes can try to extend this round but they got to find Gother on top of this on top of this uh, building. Yeah, and honestly, this is just a master class in the Maui Chums map control seminar. Look at how they are controlling the map. One tick does go the way of Sydney Dingoes, but even still, Ada just comes up, clears it out, and he's going to have streaks along with Enzo, who also earned his precision airstrike. But with 0.3 seconds on the clock, they have managed to get on the A zone. Gother, however, picking up one as the rest of Sydney Dingoes try to fly through. Crash finds one. Gother finds another. E kill with two on response, but Enzo cleans it up. Maui Chums up two to nothing in the control and have a four tick advantage. Yeah, man, Maui Chums, man, they're just that that defensive round was just, you know, all them, all Maui Chums. All, you know, Enzo and outages just holding, you know, little corners, not letting those Sydney Dingoes players get comfortable at all on the map. And that is that that is just, you know, what we like to see from the Maui Chums. You know, if you're a Maui Chums fan, you know, that's that's what you want to see. But for Sydney Dingoes, you just want them to try to turn it up like they did on that first defensive round, but this time just hold on to it and, and close out the round. Yeah, and the Dingoes in a tough spot. Town 02 in the series, 02 in the control. James finds the opening blood for our round number three, but with the pressure coming towards B, it's going to have to be a lot of help from his teammates. Marcy picking up one. The third goes down by Moosey, and Maui Chums are going to have to hit the regroup here. You know, first first attack doesn't go the way they wanted, but Crash finding two. The second one might happen to be much better. Crash finding the third. Gother cleaning up the fourth. Map control going to open up for the way of Maui. They can pick whichever direction they want to go, and it looks like the B zone will be their playground. Yeah, they're going for this B side trophy. Or Al Gother did get the one kill on the Moosey. That's going to back him up. They did see Marshy jump onto this top top of this B building. This B, I think this B bomb. I, I'm not sure, but uh, that now they got two players, three players on that B side getting that B uh, tick pushed up very quickly. Here comes uh, Moosey. He gets taken down. James gets taken down. And this B site should be all Maui. Unless you got Sydney Diggle trying to throw a couple more lives at it. They throw one more life at it. And that is the B site for the Maui Chumps. 24 to 20 uh, is the life is the life in the favor of Maui Chumps as they got two players currently close to this A site. Kills go in the favor for Gotha and Enzo. And it looks like they got control of A Zinni. Yeah, that was all at the back of a crash three-piece, and now the Dingo's on the back foot once again. Chums have two ticks. They're going to have to fly in. Crash, Gother for two. Gother looking for the third, but it's not its not going to matter anyways. Maui Chums complete the third tick. 3-0 control, 3-0 sweep in the series. A dominant showing, and they are likely to continue this dominance throughout the Platinum Division. Sydney Dingo's have a lot to work on, but man, a quick series from these two. Yeah, man, that was a quick series. You know, Maui Chance is trying to hurry up and get back out onto the...